right, we're back again, folks. This is my uh, my 55 Chevy build. This is an older build. I, I built this probably maybe early 90s. Uh, yeah, I, I opened up the grill on that. Uh, it's got the aftermarket disc brakes. I can't remember who made them to, to save my life. Uh, I drilled the drilled the wheels out. I took this uh, I drilled drilled into the fender and made the retractable antenna. Because that seemed like that was the thing back then. You had these super custom antennas that would go up and down. Drilled out the exhaust. There's the drum brakes on the back. And as you can see, that the bare metal's kind of taking a taking a little beating from all the years of traveling and being in shows and moving and God knows what else. So, yeah, the tailgate it does. It functions. It's got my little trailer ball back there. And this is the AMT Street Machine version. And it's got a new bumper on it. Because uh, if you remember when I was talking about the, the very first episode of my very first show, I was talking about my Barracuda where I had to replace it. Because it just all of a sudden just started all the chrome started lifting off I don't know why because these are kept in a uh, display box I don't know like I said it may be humidity I don't know but anyway I, I had to replace that one not too long ago so let's take a look under the hood She is fully wired and got the brake line, got the air cleaner there. Oh yeah, it's very, it's very 90s. And people are asking me all the time, you know, how do you do your spark plug wires? How do you get those things to look, look so good? And there is a formula that I use. And I'll be happy to explain it to you in just a, just a bit. Alrighty. I might just do a, do a video on how I do my spark plug wires and battery lines and all that. I think I'll call it shop math. Let's see if we can see down in there. Um, can we get in there? Mm, no. May have to have a. It's got a. It's got a deep tan interior. Almost like a leather. It's got a leather look to it. I don't have a bright enough light to get up in there to show you. But anyway, it's got a. It's got a roll bar and a fire extinguisher those came out of a it came out of a 56 monogram 56 Chevy kit I just had that laying around yeah you can see part of the tan seat back there but anyway that's a neat little just a neat little conversation piece it is a little dusty and dirty from traveling. I got to clean it up a little bit. Alrighty. Stick around. I'll show you another one. Alright, folks. We're back. There's the new bumper on the Barracuda. Now, there's one thing for all you 3D printers and stuff out there that model makers do not do that I'm begging for y'all to do that this hobby 
greatly needs and it's this right here figures drivers you can't properly display models if you don't have drivers I don't know why we have such a hard time finding these figures that's a uh, it's an old Fujimi figure right there but anyway uh, this here's my 71 Barracuda and usually like I said after all the shows I gotta take it in and I gonna have to do some minor repair to it and a little bit of cleaning up some of my paint rubbed off here and even even if I'm wearing gloves sometimes that bare metal foil is just gonna peel off I don't know why so I gotta come back in here and replace it right there it just just a whole big strip of it came off but anyway I did I lowered the front down just a little bit I wanted to give it that I wanted to give it that stance there we go there yeah ain't that mean looking oh boy Rawr. yeah this is an older build too this was probably built maybe 92 I think yeah somewhere 92 93 <clears throat> my skill still wasn't wasn't that great okay look right here this is what I'm talking about I didn't catch this but you can see that back bumper is doing the same thing that license plate this was the problem I was having it's just it's just pitting it's I don't know if anybody else has had that problem in the past or not, but well, I'll tell you what, it's a pain in the butt. <clears throat> I haven't quite learned how to use the all clad yet, but I understand, I completely understand why people strip their chrome and do the all clad because of this crap right here. Anyway, I do like how the the matte black turned out on the on the shaker hood and the louvers there. Yeah, I got a little bit of dust on them. It's been sitting around, but anywho. Yeah, you can see right here. This was this was back before I learned how to do the do the black washing and all that. It's just the plastic. <laughs> looks like the toy. Looks like a toy chrome. But anyway, my newer builds don't have that that's been corrected I made this little antenna right here and over the years it's taken a it's taken a beating but it's still held on I think what I did I think I tied a knot when I drilled the hole I tied a knot on the other end and then super glued it in so it'll it'll bend and it'll twist and it'll fall down but I, I can usually pull it right back up and then before I discovered photo etch, I just I drilled holes in in there and made my I made my little wire my little cables right there. And they're drilled into there's little holes right there. See that hole? There you go. Let me get my Mark Batson pointy stick. Right, right there. Okay. And then, like I said, that was that was back before I discovered photo etch. Now let's take a look under the hood here. Ah, hang on, I got to put the camera down. Okay, we're back, folks. Sorry, I had to had to put it down to to be able to move stuff around. All right. I made the shaker hood removable. And then there's my my hoses and run my fuel line, I mean the windshield washer lines and coolant lines and all that. I did weather up 
the interior, the under the hood with some pastel chalks. Just gave it a light dusting. And then if you'll notice on the bottom here, I did, I did the weather in there to give it a realistic travel, well-traveled look. Yeah, I got a bald spot there. I need to change that tire. All right. Yeah, there you go. We got that. That pistol grip shifter, I can't really tell. My sight's going. But anyway, I hand painted that figure. Like I said, this thing was built probably 92, 93, somewhere right in there. And it's it's seen its better days, but it's it's held up pretty good for for an older build. Alrighty, folks, that about does it for now. Y'all take care. Peace out. Be excellent to each other.